Hi guys, good evening. Thank you very much to everybody who has tuned in to my channel and commented on my videos and left some very nice comments. I do appreciate it. I guess one of the things people have been asking me lately is, hey, what's happened? Where have I been? So this is just a short video to give an update. And one of the biggest challenges I have right now is I've been working six days a week and kind of my day off I've had a lot of catching up to do with uh, family and other priorities and I really regret that I haven't had time to make videos in fact the videos I've made are something that I'm very passionate about the videos I've made and the things I've discussed are actually the most interesting thing to me in my life I I love uh, creating videos, I love researching, and I love hearing other people's ideas, I love sharing ideas, and there's a lot of other YouTube channels that I am crazy about, I love watching, particularly Martin's channel, and I admire Martin for his enthusiasm and his ability to continue doing what he does on a regular basis, because that takes a lot of energy. So, in short, I hope everybody's doing well. Once again, I do appreciate everybody who's tuned into my channel. And yes, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but I've just become very, very busy with priorities in life. I really do hope to um, make some videos in the future. And just as an explanation, some of the things I've been looking into recently have left me empty-handed. What I've been looking into particularly are the different races of people, particularly in the area of what I suppose was once considered Tartary. And so I will leave a few links in the description below of just just some of the books that I've been reading. Well, they're hard to sum up, but what I think is interesting is that books that were written in the 1860s, 1870s, 1880s have a tendency to equate certain races and tribes of people with those that are found within the Bible which is a fascinating idea, which really is not how academia studies people today. And one of the problems is, is that if I start putting together videos based upon a lot of these old books, which talk about things like the clans of the Turks, the Khanates, the Turanian races, races, Tatars, Slavs, Magyars, Caucasian Greeks, all this kind of thing, I am liable to, first of all, offend a lot of people because those subjects nowadays are very politically incorrect to even discuss. And then there's the other problem that I'm not sure that a lot of the writers of these old books from 1860s, 70s, 1880s even really know what they're talking about. If you want to know a specific book I'm talking about, uh, I've been reading a book called The Proselytes of Ishmael and I'm just reading the title page of it just to be clear as to what I'm even talking about. The proselytes of Ishmael being a short historical survey of the Turanian tribes in the Western migrations with notes and appendices. And this book once again tries to tie in all of the different ethnic groups of the world with those found in the Bible, roughly speaking. Right, and so it's talking about things like pre-Aryan migration, the ancient Scythian, uh, the refugee migration, and then it's talking about Khazars, Avars, Turks, Bulgarians, Mongols, Indo-Tatars. Now, I've read a lot of these books, and I'm not sure that the author even has a clear understand understanding of the subjects he's even speaking on. So I don't know if this is like wild speculation, but just very generally, ethnicity, the races of different people, I think this is an important subject because if we look historically and see that there was a mud flood and perhaps even a civilization reset and even watching some other videos there appears to be evidence that maybe giants may have existed as crazy as that idea sounds because when we look at old architecture some of these old buildings indicate that they were built for a much larger size human person um, to me, one of the areas of research should really be people, who we are, and, and 
and, and just to ask the question whether, I don't know, the Homo sapien, whatever we call ourselves, how far do we extend back in the timeline? So to me, these are important subjects for research. Now, the problem I have is I can't come up with any clear answer. So if you want to know what I've been looking into recently, it's it's been looking into the ancestry of different people groups in Europe and Russia and, and Asia. And I just can't come up with something tangible to present in a video. So that's one of the challenges I've had. And also I've been working a lot. I didn't want to make this video and sound like I'm whining because uh, I'm not. No, I'm not complaining. One of the other things I've been looking into recently is the book of Revelation. Now Revelation, you could read it in about an hour and a half. It doesn't take very long to read. But to understand what it's talking about, well, that's a whole different story because it's very mystical and symbolic and it deals with a very heavy subject matter. But one of the reasons I, I've been reading Revelation is because it talks about end times and earthquakes and destruction of the earth, particularly from angels from above. Well, it's hard to sum up Revelation, but it does talk about those things. So I felt that if I want to investigate and really look at mud flood and try to look at places for answers, I thought Revelation was a good book to try to cover. So I've been studying that and trying to create a summary of that book. And it's actually not easy to do that. So with that said, I am still intensely passionate about studying things like the mud flood and giants and old architecture that seems to have a similarity all over the earth. We look at this Roman classical style of architecture, it seems to appear everywhere. South America, Asia, even North America, Europe, even Africa, there's a similar type of architecture. So uh, folks, thank you very much. This is just an update. I know it's a little disappointing because I haven't covered anything in specific, but I guess I'm just kind of giving an, an, giving an explanation as to why I haven't made a video recently. I think I've been looking at subjects that are complex and hard to find information on, hard to summarize. So in future months, I do hope to present a few more videos. There are some things I've been working on, creating notes and unlisted videos on my channel, which you can't see. And so I'm trying to prepare and, and uh, keep, keep my channel going because I'm proud of it and I like the feedback I get from people. And it's a labor of love. I love uh, making these videos. So thank you very much for tuning in. This is just an update video to let you know that, nope, I haven't abandoned everything. I just have gotten very busy. And the things I've been looking into are hard to define and present conclusively in a video. Thanks, guys. I hope to make some more videos soon.